Morning, everyone. Today we have um, Mr. Abu Goja David Nana in today's show. Mr. Nana, please greet our audience. Um, good day, everyone. Uh, as she said, uh, is David Nana, the Communication Officer, Women Empowerment Education and Peace Building Initiative. Thank Welcome, you. Welcome, Mr. Nana. Thank you so much. So um, our Topic today, let's say, where we'll be looking at today uh, is at uh, this politics, this online politics. Okay. How do you see it? Is it something that is achievable? Because looking at all these um, uh, audience or followers, you okay. see that he has millions of followers. Okay. Do you think that all those people are going to? come out and vote or is it just an online thing uh okay <laughs> you know uh, social media basically uh, has uh, an enormous uh, role to play uh, especially in this uh, contemporary society where so many uh, transmissions go online people do many things online now even buying of things and do all, many other things other businesses are now going online everything is shifting to the internet so and looking at the political uh, situation presently the number of uh, youths that are conversing for the OB movement online if it is calculated based on that uh, particular side i think uh, OB we comfortably win the election but sometimes i will be afraid that some of them may just be doing that. We are online, OB, 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 OB. But then I want to believe that that spirit will uh, also be used in the time of voting. In the time of voting. Because when you look at the, 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 the level of, of a, a, a commitment, each a, a comment made about uh, P2B will be replied immediately. So many people, even people that have not been talking about politics, have come into it and using the platform, the social media platform, to promote it. Okay, if you, apart from that, if you come, uh, okay, for example, during the registration of a voter's card, most of the people that went to do their voter's registration were people that got the information from online. In some groups, they will, if you want to talk, they will tell you, do you have your voter's card? show me your PVC and all that. So I think uh, for the question you asked whether such can be translated uh, into the voting time or into reality, I think something can be done by that. I think it's going to yield a better result. I so think. what you're trying to say is that uh, what we see online is surely going to be a, a reality yes because okay people now if you look at it you see the the, the, the level of anger the suffering is no more something of a cruise anymore so i think it is going to be translated into reality well um what about uh, a situation this uh, idea of uh, you know there are some people that would they are mostly active online but the honest truth is that they end up not coming out when it is needed so what do you have to say about those ones uh, for those ones i don't actually know what I, I will say about but okay anyway the only stand the only place i'm standing now is that the kind of suffering that nigerians particular especially youths now the kind of suffering they are going through now is not something i can believe that somebody can just after saying something online after posting audios online will still not come out to vote because all of us are now affected so i believe that that's a notion of after conversing online and then they will not come out to vote i think it is not going to work this time i think the suffering has gotten to everybody that everybody would want to come out and vote that is it all right um that, that is a good 
it does a good perspective and i'm very sure that uh, things will turn out because the way the economy is right now is really affecting everybody both the rich and the poor yes, so yes. definitely i think everybody needs that change exactly. because the last time we checked those people came with change yes. and uh, right now we have seen change beyond our uh, capacity <laughs> exactly, so, exactly. so what do you think that this would do differently uh, anyway <laughs> the problem everyone everybody already know that okay when they came with the change of events it was just that they did not define the kind of change they were coming with and people did not understand it. People were just overwhelmed by the euphoria of change. And then they just grabbed it. They didn't ask whether it is going to be a positive change or a negative change. But clearly now, it is a negative change. And then we are now asking for another change. So, I want our youth, this demand of a change that we want now, it is not a change of a change. So wait, you know the last time the change was not defined. Now we are seeking for another change. Yes. This change that we are seeking for now is it defined? Because I don't, I don't know where they asked that question. What change are we expecting? Uh, okay, that is why that is why everybody is talking about the structure, which is what uh, 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 Obi is proposing. That a new structure will be coming in at least. When you hear a new structure, doesn't it sound positive to you? So that is where we are looking at. I think that positive, that structure is a positive change and that is what we want. That it's your own, it is a positive change. But when you say new structure, a new structure can be anything. So mm, I would like to say that everybody should at least make it something you know try and find out the change that we are expecting this time around and label it out so what is your advice to everyone out there uh okay it especially is... those ones online shouting carrying this uh, um, uh, election of a thing yes. to the next level mm -hmm. what is your advice to them okay my advice to them is that it is very simple they should not just be people that just be talking posting attacking uh, uh, opposition they should make sure that all those zeal all those their mission will be translated to reality on the election day on the election day simple and short come out with a voter's card okay here i'm not conversing for any 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 political party just vote Okay, people were saying before that our vote does not count our vote, but presently our vote is going to count. How sure are you that the vote is going to count? The promise is there, okay, even though if we cannot uh, uh, rely on the promise, let us look at what happened in the last election uh, in Oshun, at least with that, we believe that our vote is going to count. And with the new electoral act, I think also our vote is going to count. Alright viewers, the truth of the matter remains that from the beginning our votes are always counting. Okay. It's just that we have the wrong perspective of things. Yeah. If you do not come out for voting, it is as good as you're giving them the leverage to use your voting for another person. Another person. Exactly. So it is advisable that you try and come out and vote. When they see that the voting cannot be more than what is expected of a state, there is no way they are going to rig it. But when you give them the opportunity, you sit at home and start saying they, our vote doesn't count, they will use it for you. They will make sure that it counts for you. Exactly. So exactly. please, let's do the needful and we'll make sure and try that things will change for the better. Exactly. So we'll be expecting you next time. Okay. Thank you, Mr. David Abubuja. Thank you so much and God bless you. And bless you too. Yeah.